Trey. So much chaos gonna be going on, man. They're gonna be ransacking them ambulance because they got medical, uh, medical shit on them. There, you yeah. know what I mean? They, they got drugs, they gonna get high off that shit. Damn right, man. So yeah. people gonna get Pain terrorized killers. too. Pain killers, all that. They gonna get ran. Motherfuckers gonna take trucks and ram them. And that's they, they, they love that morphine. You know? Go ahead. You got that stripper? They're gonna get high as fuck. James 4 and 7, submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Yeah, so that's what you're supposed to do, submit yourself to the most high. That means to follow the commandments of the Bible. That's what that means. Uh, keep on. Draw nigh to, to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Hey, yeah, we live in a double-minded society. Afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. So everybody out here, they all smile and happy all the time. I tell you, they're in the wrong spirit. Yeah, if, you, if you're not angry and grumpy and mad as hell all the time, something's wrong with you. If you walk around happy right now, something's seriously fucked up with your brain, man. There ain't shit to be happy about. Yeah, he's fucking rich ass white people. Look, look at that shit. Look at he look at that on camera. They, they, they laughing and having a good time and shit like that. Oh, I'm they were funky and shit in there too. They probably, yeah, in there uh, having gay orgies in there. Butt chugging. Yeah, in there butt chugging. Doing all kind of sick shit, man. They're fucking weirdos, man. Some weird shit out here. Where are you doing? Oh, go ahead. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. Oh, you worship Apollo? He a devil worshiper. You going? Just got the shirt on just the front. Yeah, he wearing he, he, he part of a Greek fraternity sporting his shirt. That hog. Go ahead. James 4 and 10. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. That's talking, that's say this. Speak not evil is talking about us talking to each other, not us, because ain't everybody our brother. These people are not our brothers and they're not our sisters. We, we ain't got no sisters, okay? All we got is, yeah, some sisters, my beautiful queens. Man, you all a bunch of goddamn hoes, man. Ain't no queens. All you women out here are a bunch of fucking sluts. And the Lord is gonna put y'all to death. That's right. That's what's coming. That's right. Keep going. We gonna say, we gonna say, uh, yeah, People, he got a bunch of Captain Saber hoes walking all over the place. A bunch of faggots, a bunch of uh, feminine, weak-spirited bitches. Keep going. Speak not evil one of another brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judges his brother speaketh evil of the law. That's talking about us once again. That's not, that's not talking about judge. We don't judge our brothers, you know what I mean? Keep going. And judges the law, but if I mean, thou... We, hold on, we do correct each other, so don't get it twisted. You know, people are so simple, man. They get shit. Well, that's the truth. is only for the elect anyway, so if you can't get it, fuck you. That's it. Yeah, they don't get it. Fuck them. They ain't gonna get it. If you don't get it now, you know, never we, get we, it. we in a time now where it's like, here's it. If you don't get it the first time you hear it, it ain't for you, man. Put it that way. The rapper story, it was very interesting. Yeah, me too. It sounded like a beautiful song. Matthew said, if any of you that come and understand it not this gospel, this other gospel. Yep. Now, look at Yeah, get that scripture. It was very interesting. That's my shit, too. That's my shit, too. Keep going with it. That's some fire. That James got some fire in it, huh? You can read the whole book of James. It judges the law, but if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, oh, but a judge. It goes into what we're talking about, too. Yeah, we, I don't know how we got here. That's the spirit. There is one lawgiver who is able to, to save and to destroy. Who art thou that judges another? Go to now, ye that say today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not that, whereas ye know not that shall be on the morrow, for 
What is your life? It is even a vapor. A vapor? That means a vapor. Because it's like, you ain't been here for a moment. Wait, there's that scripture in the Apocrypha that man's days are few. You know what I mean? Job. Job. Yeah, Job too. Yeah. Uh, Ecclesiastes going to it. Yeah, the scripture. Ecclesiastes says everything's vanity because we only here for about a couple of seconds. You know what I mean? Your life, it, your li you, you, be, you be 60 years old before you even know it, man. You know what I'm saying? Time go by so fast. Life is just a vapor. Yeah, yeah. Here it was just uh, 07 when we was walking up into this truth. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we did. Yeah, even in the 2014 now. Seemed like Barack Obama just got elected for the first time. Yeah. He in his second term already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's that quick. James 4 and 14. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanish away. Yeah. The shortest person or that ye ought row. to say, if yeah. the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now ye rejoice in your boastings. All yeah. such rejoicing is evil. That's what these fools out here, they always boasting. Talking about how much money they got. Talking about they got this, they got that. I've been Eddie George real talking shit. They're a bunch of proud boasters. And then they talk shit about the Bible. They'll come out, they'll talk shit to us, they'll boast. Like the most, they're like, God's real. How about he kill me? Strike me down now. A bunch of proud bastards, man. Keep going. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. James 5 and 1, go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your yep. riches are corrupted and your garments that's, that's the are moth-eaten. That's the Wall Street scripture right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> All these, oh, that's the, the Jew banking scripture. All them damn, them devils that control these banks, the Federal Reserve, all these rich people that's controlling this guy's all fucked up out here. That's talking about them. We got again. James 5 and 1, go to now ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Yeah, the riches are corrupted. You know that Federal Reserve note, that's sure in the hell corrupted. Yo, the American dollar ain't worth shit. Yo, we about to go into hyperinflation right now. You seen China just uh, lowered America's uh, uh, yep, yep, yep. Hey, right, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's rating. Yeah, it's credit rating. Yep. Yeah, brain fart. Yep. Yeah, so China just uh, lowered America. Even and China holds more uh, American more of the debt. American debt than any other nation. Tr a trillion and a half dollars, you know. That's why, yeah, yeah that. Trump, five trillion, something around there. Yeah, Infowars just put out that article a day or two ago, and they said Chase Bank was uh, <laughs> limiting uh, overseas transactions. So you got the banks, they, they about to do America like they did Cyprus. They fucked Cyprus up. Yeah, they gonna start putting uh, limits on how much money you can take out the bank, because they don't want people doing bank runs. Watch, soon you're gonna, all these people, one day you're gonna wake up, EBT card's gonna be cut off, your ATM ain't gonna work, okay? There's gonna be lines of the bank going down the damn street for three miles, right? It's gonna get crazy out here. It's gonna be crazy. Have motherfuckers at the gun, at the bank, storing that money too, waiting for your ass to come to uh, withdraw this shit. Yeah, they're gonna arrest your ass. Yeah, there's some funny shit going on. Most high about to give us some new entertainment, man. He's collecting. He's gonna give us something to smile about, and be happy about. So, you know, this is it's, it's a. It's awesome seeing this nation go down, man. We see it. <laughs> Shit. It's a blessing. You know, it's a blessing. We alive to see it. You know, we can be sleep. We can be spiritually sleep. You know, or we can be physically sleep. You know, whatever. James 5 and 3. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you, <laughs> and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. He yeah, have heaped treasure together for the last days. Yeah. It's like they hoarding all, they hoarding all that treasure together just so you can die. That, that's like, you know, that's like, that remind me of the Egyptian pharaohs when they had buried all the gold with them. They thought they could take the gold with them to the next life. <laughs> that, that reminds me too, like the warehouse that I work at, 
we make these skids, like we put the merchandise, we make uh, a couple of skids, and they take the skids in the back of the warehouse, and it's like when you go back in the warehouse and see all them damn skids. Big powder. This powder, I mean, up, mm. up to this damn window yep. up here of, of, of merchandise that they're shipping out. Right. And, and it's gonna be counted as shit. Yep. Like and when all that, yeah, when the hell breaks yep, loose, you're gonna get ransacked. Because when, when, when everything right. breaks down at EBT, when, all, when the, uh, the EBT cars get shut off, there's no food. Yeah, that's gonna be your gold in that day. <laughs> Actually, your gold is gonna be the most high. Cause the most high is not with you. It's over for you, man. Hey, we gonna be that gold. Yeah, we the actually. You're right. We're the gold. We, the men of the Lord. That's that's perfect. You know? that, that, we got scriptures for that. That's right. That's right. Hey, yeah, we are the gold. James five and four. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have bricked down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud. Crying. All, all these fields are kept back by a fraud. Oh. That's why you got oh. these big corporations going through uh, putting all these small uh, family farms out of business. They, they showed you that back in that movie, Grapes of Wrath. Y'all have seen that old movie from the 30s, Grapes of Wrath? That's my shit, too. I when, love that movie. With the Okies. They sent all the Okies yeah, yeah. in Oklahoma out to California. Yeah, I love that movie. I, that's a, a great, I love that movie. That's I would that's one love of, to live like that right now. Yeah, that'd be a, that's a beautiful movie. You know, that's like what, a white film. That's one of the best movies Fonda. ever made. Who's that, Fonda yeah, or? Uh, uh, yeah, Henry Fonda. Yeah. Not Henry Fonda. Uh, yeah, Henry Fonda. Is it Henry? Or Peter Peter. Uh, I can't get them. I can't I, remember. I, I get them both mixed up. Yeah. It looked just alike, too. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. That's one of the best movies. Yeah, them people, they, they love some, that movie, man. Weren't that old fat bitch. That bitch was an Israelite, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. that's what the movie was. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. They, they, Okies was getting fucked up, but what happened <laughs> was the bankers would come through and they were shutting down everybody's farm. They, they was bringing, coming through with uh, with tractors. tractors. <laughs> they just uh, knock. He's damn. It was some fucking so called Jews, too. Or actually Edomites. And they was going through bulldozing their farms, bulldozing their barns, just destroying their whole life. And they, you know what I mean? Their whole way of life. Fucking their family up. And then, and then all the Okies had to go from Oklahoma out to California looking for work. And pretty much they all got put in concentration camps. Working fields and shit. And working fields. for pennies. Yeah. They get, if people say concentration camps can't happen. That's actually our history. That's, history. that's the history of America yep. is concentration camps. Yep. All through the history of America, people got locked up in camps. Oh, during World War II, what they do to the Japanese? That's World War II. Oh, yeah, the reservations. Yeah. That's an actually concentration camp. Yep. That's not their original land. Yep. They right. had way more land than that. That's right. Sit out there doing the Trail of Tears. The Trail of Tears. Andrew Jackson, that fucking faggot. Andrew Jackson forced the Cherokees to walk all the way out to Oklahoma, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And you can't forget about, like I said, for World War II, when they shipped all them Japanese off to concentration camps. And you got all these people on the internet talking about Andrew Jackson was the greatest president. He was fighting the bankers. First of all, Andrew Jackson was a god was a goddamn Freemason. And just look what he did to the Indians in the Trail of Tears. He's a goddamn devil. Even even uh, John Quincy Adams hated hated uh, Andrew Jackson. You know John Quincy Adams? He hated that motherfucker. He said because he's a Freemason. He's a devil worshiper. Go ahead. And the cries of them which have reaped or entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath. Ye have Sabbath lived. oath. That's a god of armies. Go Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been waiting. Ye have nourished your horse as in a day of slaughter. So he just clowned it on. Ye have condemned and killed the just. Now you condemned and killed the just. That's why people have a good time. They come out here, they, we teach the Bible, they like to make fun of us. Back in the Roman Empire, they used to take, they used to take Israelites, the so-called Christians, and they would take them and they, they would peel their face off. <laughs> while they were still alive, just peel your face off. You know what I'm saying? They had torch you, Ooh. cut your head off. Did that shit for fun. Did it for fun. Entertain. Yeah, hey, like the Emperor Decius, he did that. You know, y'all devil's history, y'all got a lot to pay for it, man. You got a lot, oh, to, pay lot for. to pay for it. A bunch of faggots. Faggots. And you, you can call Esau a faggot to his face. It was just giggle. He won't want to fight you. How do you know? He won't, he won't, he won't want to fight you with nothing. Now, if they were Israelites, they'd be ready to fight me if I called him a faggot. Jake will, if you call Jake a faggot, even if he is a faggot, he'll still want to fight you. 
You know what I'm saying? But he's eating my shit, bunch of faggots. <laughs> he's an actual faggot. So they're proud of that. That's their heritage. Yeah, fag. Yeah. Defend himself hard, too. Let me read this real quick. Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquities of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. 14 and 21. So all these, like all the people, like all these people responsible for everything that happened in America, and all, not just America, all around the world. I mean, it might be quick to say, but I wasn't alive then. Yeah, because like, you... That wasn't me. You are who your father was. They even still know the same, the descendants of the slave owners in America, but they're the seeds today are the ones that still talk shit about us. They're benefiting from it. And they're, they're, they're the same <laughs> ones right. passing all the laws now saying it's okay to be a faggot. The descendants of the slave owners are the same ones saying it's okay to be a faggot. It's okay to uh, commit adultery. It's okay to worship the devil. Y'all was the devil worshiper, ain't you? He admitted it. He admitted it. I would never say I was a devil worshiper. I would I'm never. Joking. Not even joking. I don't. I don't joke like that. That's what you said. Fucking faggots, man. So like, he, he, he's probably a descendant of some slave owners. You know what I'm saying? They all got it. If the motherfucking Elon Musk say come over here and get slaughtered and murdered. They, they won't be doing what they're doing right now. They won't even be going to college they now. They won't be going to college. All these rich kids going to college, they, they parents got that money like three, uh, like 200 years ago. 300 old years ago. Money. They got old money. They robbed and stole. Okay. They have old money. They was born rich. Most of these rich kids, they, they, they didn't work for their money and their parents didn't work for it. They call us lazy. They don't, they don't they work shit. They don't do nothing. They robbed and stole. Them so-called Jews, they brag about it. They brag about them not working. They, they, they tell you, yeah, we don't work. We make the Goyim work for us. And they brag about it. It's their kingdom. Yep. It's their kingdom. But they go to work. That's their future. They are gonna work a whole lot. <laughs> that's their future. Hey, get that revelation. Might as well get it. Shit, that's their future. Okay. But they kill me thinking that this, it, it, this ends with them. Like, there's nothing after. They did what they did. It's, it's, it's done deal. This is what it is now. But well, check this out. The same people, like uh, all, all these major corporations in America, they still they still operate on slavery. Yeah. The only thing is, it ain't black people in America. Well, they still slaves. We're all still slaves here. But it, but they moved their operations over to China. They put these China. A lot of them Chinese people be jakes that they got in slavery over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mary, thank you for breaking down rule for the last time we was out here. What was that word that went with? It, 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 it sounds Mancipate. like. Yeah, it sounds like liberation, but... Emancipation, Emancipation. Yeah. Yeah, the word, yeah, we went over that last week. Yeah, the, transfer. Yeah, the word ownership. emancipate means to transfer transfer ownership from one person to another. There was nothing... Yeah. To, yeah. to, to, to the federal government. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now everybody's property in the federal government. Federal. Now everybody has birth certificates, social security cards. They done did the whole deal on your ass, man. That's right. But I had a good point, though. Oh, yeah. Y'all, y'all say y'all think there's no slavery because there's no nobody in chains working on the fields in America. But all, all, all these corporations like Apple, all these corporations, they got literal, they get literally got slaves. They got little children making your Nikes. You got little, you got old women and children putting your Jordans together up in Indonesia or something. There's this article just came out and a story that came out on the internet today. It's on all the major sites saying that there's still over 30 million people that they could track the slaves today all around the world. Because the slavery is still alive and kicking, man. Yeah, because y'all y'all think about, oh, if it doesn't affect me, it's, it, it doesn't matter. It does matter. It's the same devils who had people in slavery in America 200 years ago that this enslaving them Chinese motherfuckers now. Same people. Same people. They just can't, you know what I'm saying? They can't get away with it out in the open over here, so they, they just go overseas to a country your ass never heard of before. Up in the, uh, up in the uh, Pacific Island somewhere. Go ahead. Go. Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. I like all these people to work for Apple. Apple, Apple, 
was using so much Apple, Apple, you know, to make the Apple computers, they was using so much slave labor that they had to uh, come out with a new uh, Mac that they built in America because people was complaining so much that they was using Chinese slave labor. Oh, they said the new PS4. The new PS4 is being uh, put together by college kids who are not even getting paid. They're forcing them. <laughs> it has nothing to do with their classes in school. Yeah, the college kids are complaining about it. They said, I'm not even going to school for this at all. And, 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 and they said, if you want to graduate, you have to put these PlayStations together. So they're forcing people to build P a PlayStation 4s for free. That's the devil for you. That's fucking slavery. That's the devil for you. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Yeah, so y'all want to say, oh, that was a long time ago. That was not a lot. It's still going to be stuck. Give me uh, Ecclesiastes 3. Uh, most high requires that which is passed. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah, because actually, if you if you committed a crime, if your forefathers did some, uh, committed some uh, atrocious crime yeah, 200 years ago, you, your descendants got to pay for your forefathers' crimes. You got to pay for the crimes of your ancestors. You have to pay for the crimes of your forefathers. Even us, we're not, we're not free of that. Is that a yeah. we, we, we paying right now for the wicked shit our forefathers did. That's why we so broke right now. We ain't got shit. That's, that's why we're on the bottom right now. But we paying for the crimes of our forefathers. Yeah. Um, here you go. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which has been is now. That which has been is now. Keep going. And that which is to be hath already been. And the Most High requires that which is past. That the Most High requireth that which is past. So the past matters a lot. It matters a whole lot. Now hold up. If they say the past don't matter, oh, that's in the past. Well, the Bible got pro the Bible was written thousands of years ago, and this matters a lot. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, even when you kill somebody, murder is. Uh, there's no, there's no uh, uh, what do you call that? Statute of limitation on murder. If you committed a murder uh, 70 years ago and you're like 100 years old now, and they they catch your ass and they find some evidence, they'll lock you up. Let me come and finish more of this. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. <laughs> that wickedness was there in the place of righteousness that iniquity was there yeah there's all kind of iniquity out here man in the place of righteousness is jerusalem that's it that's us this is jerusalem right here that's the city of peace and which is a people before a place the nation of israel it's called holy hill of zion you know what i'm saying genesis but, but hold on that's like that one hey give me a uh I get it real quick. Go ahead. I, I get it. Uh, Genesis 9 and 6. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. Uh, for in the image of the Most High may he man. Uh, that's a good, that's a perfect scripture. You no. Know, I read that again. Exactly. the shit out of the nation of Israel, man. Read it one more time. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, so by man. So yeah, so who shed the, uh, the North American Indians' blood? Mm -hmm. Keep going. By man shall his blood be shed. So, so, I mean, that's clear, man. Yeah, it's clear. It don't get no more clear than that. By man. By man. I did oh, say yeah, by he man. Be his, uh, uh, he gonna use us to destroy nations. Yep. That, that, that's what you call karma. That's what you call uh, live by the sword, die by the sword. That's right, that's right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you've just read it in Revelation. He that leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword shall be killed by the sword. It don't get no more clear than oh, that, I got it. <laughs> I went straight to it. I opened the page and right to it. That's how it works. <laughs> right, right. That's <laughs> crazy how these do that, man. There's thick ass holes everywhere, man. This is a distraction, man. You know, you some thick. Ah, you like being thick, huh? Get some attention. <laughs> you wear the tight ass pants. Right, all thick. Damn. She smiled too. Crazy, man. Ah, that's crazy. She's a redhead too. Yeah. Right, never make her move. Oh hell no. 
bitch had to fuck herself with a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah, you let me read that first. Oh, it's numbers. Numbers 35 and 30. Whoso killeth any person, the murderer shall be put to death <laughs> by the mouth of witnesses. There's plenty of witnesses Shit. about them motherfuckers. Mainly us. Shit, America, us. they'll lock you up with no witnesses in America. They, they'll, they'll lock you up with some DNA evidence or something. Some, bu some bullshit. Someone else's DNA. Yeah, someone else's DNA. <laughs> Shit. Forensics. Numbers 35 and 30. Oh, and that DNA is some bullshit, man. You can't, you can't believe, they don't even fully understand that DNA yet. Yeah, they and they'll yeah. never understand it. That's a cool blueprint for itself. They try to say 90% of DNA is junk. Okay. Oh, wow. That yeah, would make sense. Yeah, 90% of DNA don't matter. Like, okay, I don't believe that shit, okay? Numbers 35 and 30, whoso kills any person, the murderer shall be put to death by the mouth of witnesses but one witness shall not testify against any person to cause him to die. Right, that means, yeah, if you had no witnesses, no witness, no crime. And if you if you kill somebody and there wasn't no witnesses, then look, the Lord is good with you. He'll get you, okay? Don't worry about it. Moreover, you shall take no satis satisfaction for the life of a murderer which is guilty of death. Oh, that goes back to Barabbas. You remember when uh, mm -hmm. the, when the Lord was about to get crucified, right, right. and, and the, the Caesar said, not the Caesar, uh, uh, Pontius Pilate said, I can let one of these guys go. I, this, this is the Passover, I can let one of these guys go. I can let the Son of God go. Mm -hmm. I can free him. Which is the Lord, Yahweh Shai. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Or I can let uh, go Barabbas, who's a goddamn murderer. A wicked nigga. So who did they choose? Did they choose the truth? Nope. No, they chose the murderer. They, chose again, death. Bro. They, they made a covenant with death. They made a covenant with death. And that was Israel that did that. That's right. That was two thirds that did that. That's right. That's these people that did that. That's right. All, all these evil, more <laughs> evil motherfuckers that come up talking shit to us. Mm -hmm. The same people that talk shit to us, they the same people who told, uh, who said they had no king but Caesar. That's right, bro. That's what they said. That's right. Are we good? That's right. And Numbers we, and, and we witnesses. <laughs> and we witnesses. Oh, we was there. We seen it all go down. Yep. Numbers 35 and 31. Moreover, you shall take no satisfaction for the life of a murderer. You shall take no satisfaction for the life of a murderer. So, these that, Americans is doing so that's when these people come up and oh, I got a, I got a good one for you. You want to hear a good one? Like my, my baby's mama, the bitch broke up with me, left me and shit, right? Because mm -hmm. she had a problem with the Bible. But check this shit out. I have one of my friends, I hope y'all watch the video too. Cause uh, they probably watch our You're video. Being condemned to death. But with my friend, he's a heroin addict. The kid, I, dude I grew up with, he's a heroin addict, fucked up and doped up on heroin, robbing people. Mm -hmm. You know, he told me he was right. He's like, bro, I did some dirty shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to give him some truth. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not, it's not about him actually, it's about this bitch. But anyway, he, he's hooked on goddamn heroin. And he ain't had no place to go because he's a goddamn junkie, right? When you're a junkie, you get in, a, you get in bad shape. You spend all your money on dope. But she'd rather have, and she let him move in with her and she was helping him. She would rather help a heroin addict and she would dad. rather be around a heroin addict, not just a baby's dad, but a person who's into the Bible and teaching, teaching the truth. She, she, and she, he was probably in there fucking her too. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Sucking in your neck. Probably was. Yep. That's but that's how these bitches are choose a murderer over a man of the Lord. That's like when people come out here, they 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 take up for a, a rapper before they take up for us. You know, they they listen to a rap song before they listen to this word. We expect it. We don't, we don't, you know, we ain't surprised. Oh, we're not surprised at all. We ain't mad at you. Goes Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget. We got a go go gadget arm. Where's Inspector Gadget? Right there. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a brony. What's up, brony? Uh, uh, <laughs> he knows about the bronies. <laughs> He's one. <laughs> yeah, that's sexy motherfucker right there. You can have that one there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take my pickings. <laughs> I done seen a bunch of hoes today, boy. Yeah, yeah. There's so many hoes out here. It's ridiculous. And they all walk around half naked. I mean, I, you can see camel toe. We've been over this a thousand billion times already, man. Go ahead. 
Cause y'all can't get mad at us because we say we like pussy, man. Because <laughs> you got bitches walking around half naked. What, what, what am I supposed to do? Right, what am I supposed to do? Keep going. Numbers 35 and 30, who's so... Hold on, hold on, because if I got one of these women, if we got with one of these women, we ain't gonna let them uh, run around like hoes, man. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, damn. Go ahead. That bitch was bitch. Numbers 35 and 31. Sure the hell was. Hey, I ain't never seen no yeah, no Pakistani holding the ass like that. That see, that's another way though. Cause uh, when we see these women, we can tell a lot of these women who look like foreigners are actually our people. You know what I'm saying? You got a flood coming? <laughs> Floods. The floods? Man, I used to got, I've worked from floods one day to school just once. That's all. I never wore them again. <laughs> That's all I had. You know, you poor and you outgrow some pants, they don't fit you no more. Yeah, parents ain't got no money to buy yeah. so, yeah. They had thrift stores back in the day, too. And thrift stores were way better now. They way better now. <laughs> they, the thrift stores weren't that good back then. Yeah, you get some. Get some bell bottoms. Hey, oh, bell bottoms. Yeah, that's just. I, I wore bell bottoms. I'm finding, buying, buying shit. I remember from the 70s, man. Oh, yeah? Hell yeah, man. I was oh, born you? and raised out of thrift stores, man. I bet you, you find the best shit in thrift stores, actually. You spend all your time and you spend enough time and you can find all kind of shit. You find unique stuff. Yeah. You, you can tell when somebody goes to a, 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 like a regular retail store, everybody got the same shirt, everybody got the same pants. You go to a thrift store, you find some unique items. Get you a shirt from 20 years ago. Yeah, you find some vintage stuff, some shit from uh, from another country. You don't know what you're going to find. Oh, let me get on with that one. Uh, Numbers 35 and 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood is defiling the land. Yeah, America has uh, been defiled by blood. And the main Especially by the blood of North American Indians, man. That, that's one of the greatest atrocities in the history of mankind. Payback's coming, man. Yep, yep. Payback. Recompense. Recompense. Well, we're supposed to be proud of being American, right? That's right. Go ahead. Numbers 35 and 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, where ye, wherein ye are, for blood is the fount of the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Hmm. Yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of blood cleanse. Uh, <laughs> there's gonna be some cleansing coming. What do you call that? That's gonna be that great cleansing. You know how you uh, clean something real good is with heat, man. With, uh, like when you, if you want, if you want to make sure your your uh, your food's cooked, you boil it, right? You boil it to kill all the germs or whatever. So America's got to be fried, man. It's got to be turned to a crisp. That's an Edomite mine too. Got that MS. Fuck his ass up. That's a wicked gift. Jeremiah 51 and 20. 20. Um, thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. Oh, so yeah, so word of weapons of war. So when the Lord's gonna give us power. Hey, read that again. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. Talking to Israel. Right. Nobody else. He's talking to the Israelites. For with thee. Will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Yep. And with thee will I break in pieces the horses, the horse and his rider. Just like, just like Joshua did it. When Joshua came on, when Joshua took over Israel, and he was leading Israel in the battle, what did they do? Slaughter. Man, they just slaughtered everything in their sight. Any heathen, they was just slaughtering heathens all day Samuel. long. Oh, so I remember when, uh, Samuel killed Agag, his ass to chopped him to pieces, the, the Edomite king <laughs> chopped his ass up to pieces. When they went and got him, they was bringing him to Josh Samuel, and they just oh, no, no. walking to scare him. I got a scripture for you. <laughs> what's that, what's that scripture? Uh, <laughs> That's the shit, down. man. Hacked him to pieces. Just so like, it was probably a pile of meat playing there. Man. Yep. Yeah. No. And he said he hacked him in pieces. Hacked him in pieces. He probably literally hacked him in pieces. Hacked him in pieces. Literally. Like sushi. Yep. Like sushi, right. Yep. Slice his ass up in pieces. Just Before like he failed, he was funny. Yep. 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 You know, 
know, Samuel, they, that's back when they had power. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they all was super powerful. <laughs> super even the heathens were powerful back then. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if they like the the, uh, the Philistines, a lot of them were giants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mighty men. They were mighty. Men. Mighty men. And they had power. Heathens. So if a heathen had power, how much power do you think the Israelites had? Dude, it was just that was badass, man. Yeah. Well, you gotta be a bad man. Like he just took him out right here with a slingshot. Oh, he yeah, he killed him with a slingshot. Oh, I got Twitter. That that was precision aim because you know he had a helmet. Yep, he he said that rock sunk in his forehead. Like sunk a meteor, like a, bullet. Like a, a bullet. meteor right hit the earth. Yep, a like a big bullet. ass crater. That's probably more like a fifty cow bullet. <laughs> yeah, actually. yeah. 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 But he he ain't got no little rock because you no, know, even a seven six two round is real small. Mm -hmm. So he probably had like a bigger than a fifty cow. And took his big ass sword and chopped his own head off with it. Yeah, it had to been a pretty nice size. Yeah, the biggest one. Well, pretty nice skull. Plus, you know, Smooth, you don't know how big Goliath down. had a big ass head. Yeah. His head was probably the size of a damn car. For real, man. <laughs> man. He had a big block head. Big ass head. Big you ass know, target. Those hand mics and them cane mics got big oh, ass. Oh yeah, heads. yeah, yeah. Big, big ass face. Yep. I bet that was some. Yep. I bet them. They was some smelly motherfuckers too, man. Ooh. I bet you just get in battle with some Canaanites and some Philistines. I know they just smelled. It had to be an awful smell. Ooh, anus. That porn you just made. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm posting this right now. <laughs> they just squirted all over her face, a whole gang of niggas. So, I can see some of these Jew bitches be looking good. Scrumptious. Sarah Silver. Oh, shit. Yeah. She an Israelite. Yeah. What about your boy Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he can't. Oh, he's supposed to be a Jew. Yeah. Jews. Hell yeah. I know that. You think Jews are allowed to marry uh, so-called Gentiles? <laughs> <laughs> they got. They keep it all in the family. Yeah, sure do. Literally. Oh, Jimmy Kimmel was a fucking rat. I was looking at the baby of uh, the prince and uh, and his, that one bitch, his bitch that just had the baby, the freaking royal baby George. Oh yeah, ugly that's little... an ugly ass baby, man. Well, look at William. He's an ugly bastard. Yeah, that looked like some crossbreed shit. Oh, uh, yeah, some crossbreed shit. That's an ugly-ass baby. They lucky it don't come out to form. It might develop that way, though. Why? Yep. Oh. They're going to change it anyway with another baby. Yeah, they you will switch them out. They probably will switch them out one day. Yeah. There comes a whole group of them. There's so many hoes out here. I'll tell you, man. Y'all want? Out here like that. I never, I said never seen more hoes in my life than Ohio State University. Mm -hmm. I've been all around the world. Most hoes is right here. They I call it the yeah, that's true. Ohio yeah, State the, University. Yeah, that's what they call it too. All them athletes. Y'all want to see some pussy? Come down here. This is the place to be. God damn. This is the place to be. And hey, look at these hoes. They all dress like sluts. Look at my camera. Look at them yeah. two leading the way. They look like two. The way, they right. look like prostitutes, bro. Right. They all dress like prostitutes. Like what's that movie, right. Pretty Woman, with uh, Julia Roberts? Julia Roberts. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Yeah, look. Like and look, the dudes ain't even talking to the women. Wearing purple and shit, skinny jeans. The women running shit. Yeah, look, they, look, they lead the pack. Yeah, they lead the way. Edomite. Esau. Esau's a faggot, man. That's some Edomites, man. Them is biblical Edomites. The only one fucking them bitches are the bitches. The bitches, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And these women love licking pussy, man. That's all they, they talk about it. That's all they talk about now. I'm serious. They, I be talking about. It. I be on the internet. Man. It blows my mind, man. Uh, women, like I be on the site. You know, if you get on the site, you be trying to spit game this my hoes. Right, right, right. Bitches be making posts like. No dudes, sorry, only girls. Yeah, no dudes allowed. I no dudes allowed. I see that all the time. All the time. Just like the bitch who took a piss behind the tree. She said, I only slept with three girls. Only three. <laughs> Which that means if right, she, if she admitted to lifetime. <laughs> right. she admitted to three. <laughs> only slept with three girls. Ain't, ain't that a rule? They, oh, God, like it's most funny shit we experience, bro. Yeah, most bitches. If you ask a bitch how many dudes she's been with, she'll say two. Yeah, always two. It's always two. It's always two. That's one too many. You yeah. meant to say two times. Yeah, yeah. two times. <laughs> Fifty and shit. I want four. What you got next? Yeah. Uh, Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus said the Lord power, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by Edom. taking vengeance. Edom, that's like you little you faggot ass white people out here. Right. And have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus said the Lord, 
power. I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. Upon Edom, Edom's going to get it. He and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it a desolate God bless you. from Teman. What God are you talking about? In, when, what's his name? I just want to know what God I'm being blessed by. There's just one God. It you don't know his matter name? If it's Christian or Israel. What's his name though? You don't know his name? I don't know. Do you? Nope. Do you? What's your nationality? Uh, white? I don't know. <laughs> Caucasian? I don't know. We're all the same. Never mind. There's so, one God. No, 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 I have uh, Jewish friends and I have Christian friends. And I have Muslim friends. We're all going the same You're place. going so off. You, you, you're going you. off. The Bible says you're supposed to depart from the wicked. So if you're hanging out with Muslims, that means you're hanging around with the wicked. The Muslims are heathens. So you're saying it's okay to be a heathen? Well, I don't want to say I'm seeing them every day. I don't, I'm not saying I'm seeing them every day, but I'm saying they're going to go to heaven. I, oh, God will oh. take any. God will take any. Yes. What scripture is that? Yes. Yeah, you got a scripture on that one? I think God is so great. God he's he great. Terrific guy. He is. He's What's very terrific, that? actually. He is. I, I think he'll he'll take anyone. <laughs> he'll take anyone? That's the right. Well, I mean, I mean well, what about Esau? <laughs> okay, Judas. You know, you know Judas, right? Judas. He he, he killed Jesus. Well, he's an Israelite. Though. Okay, I'm just saying. Uh, he's sitting right beside Jesus mm -hmm. in heaven right now. He killed Jesus. No, Judas ain't. He's not in heaven right now. Judas is in hell right now. I you know, know. That's no, not. No, 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 no. Hell is America. Okay, that this is hell. Well, it might Cause, be. Because there's no such be. thing as like a, mm -hmm. a, you know, an underworld where Satan is called hell. That, that's fairy tale. That's not in the Bible. Yeah, it's mythology. I believe in hell. I go to church too, man. Yeah, that's why I stopped. What church you go to? I go to New Life. Is, is, it, it, is it a 501c3 church? It's a non-denominational church. But is it a 501c3? What do you mean by that? You don't know what that is? No. You get a tax exempt. That's a tax exempt status from the government. No. Meaning, if you have a 501c charter, you're not allowed to speak out against faggots. You're not allowed to get involved in politics. You're not you allowed. Are you homosexual? No, I think. Oh, I'm not. Do I look like? Do they have yes. women preachers uh, in there? Oh, I, I do. Look like <laughs> I do. Yeah, don't worry. He's right, just, I'm, he's I'm just done messing done with you, man. He's, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He's Maybe a you're a fag, but I'm not. All right. Just hold up, bro. I'm not wearing high waters, no. so. High waters. I, I dress better than you, buddy. Yeah, get them loafers on camera. Yeah, I, I dress better. Well, than what's you, up buddy? with that tight-ass shirt, bro? <laughs> That's just some tight shit you got on, bro. I work at the hospital. <laughs> what does that have to do with you? Get Thank you. everybody wearing tight clothes at the hospital now. Is that what they do up there? If you want to work at a hospital, you got to get a tight sweatshirt. You messing up? It's all right, Paul. He just like we didn't want to waste time with that kind of. I was about to fuck him up though. Paul got his ass. Lamentation four twenty one. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom that dwelleth in the land of Uz. Yeah, I was about to ask him if Esau could get saved, because we was reading right here that this said Esau was going to die. It didn't say he was getting saved. You know, that's funny. You're right. He just walk up and say, everybody's getting saved while we're reading this. <laughs> like, that's the spirit. Yeah, I forgot about Judgment Day. Like, that's the spirit of Satan coming around now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. When you bring up these certain, certain scriptures, man. But what was that? He said he wears tight clothes because he, he works said, at a hospital. I think, I think that what don't matter what the fuck you think. That's just counting kind of the fucking toilet paper. Yeah, they go using their heart and shit. Yeah, using their, uh, their own opinion. Yeah. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. That cup, that cup is talking about death and destruction. It's talking about slavery. That's talking about hell. It's talking about you gonna be put into a life of hell. Well, take that cup from us. That's right. And he is. He's slowly taking it off. Yes, yes, yes. He's slowly taking it. He's so he's even getting fucked up out here. You know, just like what happened to black people in America in slavery, and what happened to the Indians in America, they ain't got shit on what's about to happen to Esau. Woo! It ain't got nothing. It ain't got nothing. It's gonna be. Legendary. It's gonna be. It's gonna be yeah. twice as worse, man. It's gonna be a spiritual asshole. Physical, physical, mental, I mean, we're going to torture these motherfuckers. That's going to be a godly ass with What's up, bro? You like it. It's like Bob Cack Rose with the stuff. You hear me growl like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That would be real. That would be real. That would be real. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, hey, man, I heard it, dude. Come on. Get to the Yeah, come on, bro. Get out of here with me. Let me read this. Um, 
<laughs> thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Now, hey, it's a dance competition I'm entering into. <laughs> right Scully's on the 25th. Right down the street, Scully's, the club. Live band, yep. live bands. You gonna go down, you gonna go win that prize? I'm entering. You gonna get it. You got a good hey, chance, that's what bro. I've been trying to take you, man. The yeah. schoolies, man. You gonna, he gonna win. Hey, that's what I've been trying to take you to school. Uh, you don't like schoolies, man. It's a fun-ass like place, bro. Hey, you'll fit in there. Trust me, sir. Yeah, I feel that's like a cool-ass place, man. I don't see it anywhere. Hey, they, and all kind of people come on stage there like trying to make it. Oh, shit. All kind of bands, man. Some of them be decent. Some of them be I'm in there. Man, y'all don't want to... Yeah, wait till... Yeah, y'all don't want to see me on stage with a guitar. That's if I had a band, we would make the best music ever, man. It would be, like be the greatest music. Here you go. The punishment of thine iniquity is come, is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. <laughs> I thought he was going to hit Paul, man. He told him to run it. <laughs> but he had a camera. Well, it's hard to do anything. I know. <laughs> the, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. <laughs> He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Oh yeah, so after after America, it's gonna be uh, no more pain. Ain't there a song, No More Pain or something like that? Tupac. I got a scripture. Of, yeah, is that a Tupac song? No More Pain. Okay. Sound like a song. It's, it's called Pain. It's not, it should be. When I spoke there, it's No More Tears. Yeah, No More Tears. Is there a song called No More Tears? Yeah, that's not, oh, that's Ozzy Osbourne's song. Ozzy Osbourne's a big faggot. Yeah, yeah, but that one's a like chicken. Yeah, I don't like Ozzy Osbourne. His wife's a Jake, though. That bitch got ass, she, too. Man. Oh, you, she gotta be, she, she the one running his shit. Hey, that ugly ass fat. daughter of yours got a body. She just got a fat ass. Yeah, yeah. That ugly ass daughter of yours, man. Ozzy's a Jake. I still fuck the shit out of that bitch. You think so? Hell oh, yeah, he's a Jake. Ozzy Osbourne, wicked motherfucker. Well, what's up? Even, I like the, uh. I don't know the shirt of those, bro. I don't know Jake's, man. Man, they, I mean, they gotta be Black Sabbath, man. They got some bad ass. Yeah, riffs, yeah. Bro. They, they, I mean, they even do. though they double, they, do. they into that evil shit, but right, right, when you listen right. to the riffs and the guitar playing in Israel the drum, overall, they got they, they got, come up with the riffs, man. They come up with that good music, and good beats and shit, yeah. yeah. And Black Sabbath was some bad shit. You gotta be a Jake to play the drums like that. Like, uh, what's that drummer from Black Sabbath, Burt Ward, the drummer? That dude was bad, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta have skip. Esau can't play the drums like that. Oh, we had his Edomite. You remember that Edomite that came to my house? We had. That one of the uh, Dave's friends came to the house <laughs> with a drum set. I, I, was going, I was playing guitar with him. I played guitar. Right. And we had a, this dude was an Edomite. <laughs> he could not keep the rhythm on the drums for nothing. I thought I was fucking up. Was, he was fucking shit up. I'm not surprised he was Dave's friend. It, yeah. This dude, he claimed to play, play the drums for years and years. Hold on. Fucking up my story. And this dude trying to play the drums for years and years, he couldn't keep a simple boom, boom, clap. I was like, dude, just give me a boom, boom, clap, boom, boom, clap. Can I get that? And Dave didn't know how to play the drums Never before. played ever. Yeah. And then he, he played way better the first time he touched it. That's crazy. And yeah. we, it, we sounded great playing That's together. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but we got the Edomite on the drums. That's how I know Burt Ward is an Israelite. That's how I know John Bonham from Led Zeppelin is an Israelite. Yeah, that's right. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because you see what happened to Led Zeppelin. After John Bonham died, that whole band broke up, bro. It fell a pick, because he pretty much was the backbone of that whole band. Yeah, you'd be surprised when this, this old man sold two bucks. Yeah. A lot of his advice. That music is far better than that bullshit they're doing. That shit, man. That yeah, all them dudes is Jake's, man. That shit was some bad shit. Who about you? Hey, we go down the list. Eddie Van Halen, you know his ass is an Israelite. He was on Beat It. He played a guitar solo for Beat It. He pretty much wrote that song. And actually, Eddie Van Halen, he said he did that song, Beat It, for free. He didn't even charge Quincy Jones no money. He did it for free. Huh? He's a faggot. Yeah. Eddie Van Halen's probably a fag, too. He probably belongs to somebody. Yeah, he got to be doing some evil shit. I, I ain't going to give y'all too much credit. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. There you go, yeah. So, yeah, so we ain't gonna be in captivity no more after this. After the Lord destroys America, that's it, man. That's why, this, that's why it's called the last days, the end times. 
uh, Judgment Day. <laughs> What's another word? Armageddon. Well, Armageddon, Armageddon, the Hebrew word. Armageddon, that means the, the mountain of, uh, mountain of battle, something like that. Valley of the Troops? Yeah, Valley of the Troops, yeah, because Gad means troop, yeah. Gar means mountain. Yeah. 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 Check this out, Isaiah 51 and 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets. As a wild bull in a net, they are full of fury of the Lord, the rebu rebuke of the Most High. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted yeah, and drunken. You know, a wild bull's uncontrollable. You're watching rodeos, right? Uh, go ahead. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Drunken now with wine. <laughs> All that wicked philosophy. Like you got, like you see a lot of this when you get on YouTube. You ever listen to Coast to Coast? Oh, I know you listen to it. You get, you listen to Coast to Coast, or you hear people teaching all this bugged out shit, teaching about ancient aliens and the Anunnaki, <laughs> and then you got people talking about the right and left hemisphere, of your brain. Uh, then you got, yeah. then you got the frequency. You never listen to that. Sixteen. It comes when it starts at 12. Yeah, I got one for you. AM, AM, no, AM, got, AM, got, AM. Got, man, that's some bugged out funny, shit, man. That shit. You hear all kinds of shit. They got a marathon on the History Channel right now with the ancient They aliens. want you to get that shit. Yeah. The ancient aliens. It's a marathon. <laughs> Actually, I used to, before I got this truth, I, I was kind of into that ancient alien shit. Too. Yeah, I was too. But you know what? The truth led me to find out that it's all a lie. When you find... When you look into it, you find out that the Anunnaki is actually the Babylonian false gods that the Bible warns you of. So it's these devil worshippers like David Icke and uh, Zachariah Snitchin. <laughs> well, we praise the Most High, he dropped dead. You know what I'm saying, that old Jew bastard. He can't trust the Jew. Their name is uh, yeah, goddamn uh, Edomite. They probably say, I, I, was, I like to watch some of that stuff to see how far it goes.